Hi there, my name is Ron Rogers, and this presentation is titled Shuttle Enterprise, You Have a Problem, and the Night I Made National News. Now, out at Edwards, we had really neat air shows because when you're the flight test center, you got a lot of neat toys to show. And this is uh, on the flight line at the uh, Edwards Air Show back in the, uh, the late 70s. And, uh, you know, not many people could say they've got a 47 with uh, a shuttle mounted on top of it. This was the Enterprise, which, of course, um, if you know your history, never actually flew in space. It was used for the approach and uh, landing tests. Of course, this was going on at the time, and I knew the, I knew these guys because they were, you know, we all worked out there together. Um, they, of course, being a little bit higher rare, rarefied atmosphere than I was because I was a chase pilot, not a uh, uh, shuttle astronaut. But um, you'd meet you'd meet the guys around, and you'd get a chance to talk to them. It could be quite interesting. Now, uh, here's the Edwards uh, runway layout, and I'm giving a check ride uh, to one of the test pilots. I'm senior flight examiner at T-38. Uh, uh, wing stand of L. So I'm giving a, um, a contact check, uh, to a, uh, test pilot and, uh, we taxi out and we park next to the, uh, um, blue arrow there in what's known as last chance. That's where you pull in and they check the aircraft over to make sure everything's fine. Well, as I'm sitting there, the, um, 747 with the shuttle enterprise on it, just taxis on by, they take the runway there. There's the end of the runway with the red arrow and they go scooting down the runway where the green arrow is. And here's some pictures. These are actual pictures I taught, uh, took myself. These are uh, not of that day because I uh, didn't have a camera with me given a check ride. And the quality isn't as good because this is my 35 millimeter, but they were pictures that I actually took, not uh, pictures I got off the internet. And there it shows uh, uh, <clears throat> the configuration going by again. Okay. So here's the 747 going down the runway. It rotates. And by the way, talking to the guys, um, when you're setting up there in the shuttle, first of all, you can't see the 747 below you. And the speeds, especially since, you know, the higher you set in the aircraft, people who've flown uh, wide body aircraft uh, where you're setting higher, and especially the 47, uh, you have to worry things about taxi speed because you don't really have a sense of speed. And the guys in the shuttle, they're already tilted back a little bit. And they say, when that thing rotates and takes off, it's kind of scary because um, you really don't feel you're going that fast. So it, it, it's, it's kind of an interesting picture. And, okay, these guys go heading on down the runway. Oh, and the, uh, the uh, Making National News, um, they had, uh, uh, of course, news uh, people out there, and, and there was a picture, uh, a film of the 747 with the shuttle taking off, and... You could see there at the end of the runway, this one little T-38 there waiting to take off. And, and I told my wife, we've got to watch the news tonight because I, I, I bet I'll be on the news. So uh, we, we get it there, we turn it on, and gosh, and regard, and lo and behold, you can see the little 38 sitting there as they take off. So that was my claim to fame that day. I made, I made the national news that evening. Okay, it's not great, but, you know, best I could do that day. So anyway, the uh, 47s with the shuttle, it's taken off there. So... Uh, they get going, so now we get cleared for takeoff. Okay, so we go roaring down the runway there, and I'm given a, like I said, a contact check ride. And one of the first things we do is uh, we uh, we simulate an engine failure, and he has to come back for uh, a heavyweight. You know what's heavy in a 38? It's we're just full of gas, so he does a heavyweight single engine approach, and this is to a low approach in a single engine go around. So we climb on out there, and you notice how I'm going the opposite direction suddenly, but. Uh, and the other thing is, for you purists out there, because I know somebody's going to mention, uh, that tower didn't exist in 1979. I don't have an old-time picture of a 38 in the tower, which was a, a red and white thing, and they, they replaced it with a nice new modern tower. But anyway, the shuttle is, uh, is going down, uh, is, is climbing out, and uh, as I get airborne there, um, I notice as I was going down the runway, there was all sorts of stuff laying on the runway, uh, kind of glinting, and uh, I wasn't quite sure what it was, but we call that FOD, foreign object damage, because if you hit one of these things, you can get uh, damage from what's a foreign object, because you don't know what it is. Um, it could actually uh, be a domestic object for all I know. But anyway, um, what the deal was, the Enterprise, they had these uh, tiles on it. 
And this is the close-up picture of it. They all got serial numbers on it. And I was told that there's virtually no tile the same. And these were held on with a glue. Hey, there's a kind of another picture of the, uh, the shuttle with all the tiles. Well, they had a little issue with this glue, apparently, because the shuttle was supposed to go up for a 45-minute test flight to get some uh, data. Handling qualities, get some aerodynamic data, stuff like that. But uh, uh, it had two F-104 chases, and the chase pilots came back and were saying, you know, oh, my gosh, they're losing, uh, they're losing tiles faster than a drug dealer is throwing packets of cocaine out the window when he's being chased by the police. Well, you know, the NASA pilots would never say anything like that. They would use that low, cool NASA pilot voice and saying, oh, it seems like you may have an anomaly there, Enterprise. But anyway, they could see what was going on. These tiles are just falling off all over the place. In fact, you could probably go out in the desert and find one because they lost quite a few of them. But unbeknownst to me, you know, what was quite going on here, because I'm just uh, just talking to Tower, I'm coming around. We're going to do the, uh, the uh, single-engine uh, heavyweight approach here. And we come on down and, and we do our, our little mission there. And the funny thing was, right behind me was the uh, the shuttle uh, uh, with carrying the 47, you know. Uh, it pulled in right behind me there and they're coming back into land. I thought, well, that's interesting. That's a very short mission. Well, of course, they get the airplane down. They need to land it because it's kind of, um, you know, doing a, doing a rapid uh, disassembly, not quite as bad as some of Elon Musk's rapid disassemblies on, on his spaceship there, Starship, but, uh, it's, it's got tiles coming off. So they decide the best thing to do is land. And of course, by the time I end up coming back towards the end of the check ride to do a few patterns, uh, they've, they've cleaned up the runway. So anyway, that's a little tale about the very first, uh, flight of the, uh, prototype space shuttle enterprise, um, on the 747. Now it made a number of of these flights, several of these flights, um, captive carry type of flights to, to kind of test things out and they'd exercise the flight controls and stuff like that. And they did a number of these before they actually did the uh, mission where they separated from the 47 and did the, uh, glide and landing tests. So anyway, that's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.